Today, we're taking a look at the latest addition of the Truvia FX family, the developer behind some of the most popular add-ons for Blender, such as True Terrain, True Space, and True Grass. In this video, we're gonna take a look at True Assets, which has been released recently, but it seems to be received well by the community. So what is it? Similar to the Blender's asset browser, True Assets helps you turn any of your Blender file, any directory full of textures and SDRIs, and images into marked assets stored for future use in any of your projects. Furthermore, it allows you to choose from three preset custom-made material types, which are Uber, Plastic, and Organic. Uber is for all the materials, while Plastic and Organic are for materials with translucency and other specific properties, and all the material shaders come with custom controls for roughness, color, metallic, and subsurface scattering values, and all the controls can be found in the Material tab, in addition to creating worlds by setting up HDRIs with custom controls. You also have the ability to create a catalog and an added kit batch support in this version. Also, you have an easy asset importer and even the ability to import from different blend files. After installing the add-on, pick a directory for your asset library by setting it up in the add-on installation settings section. You can see all the paths in the file paths tab for objects, materials, worlds, and node groups. All your important assets will be in the assets browser. And to start importing stuff, you can do that from the add-on window in the end panel of your 3D viewport under the true VFX where you get four options. We have mark assets from this file. With this, you will get more options to specify the assets you want to mark for your project. You can choose whether you want to mark objects, materials, node groups, or worlds. For the other filter, you can select all the types of geometry such as curves, surfaces, metables, volume, text, etc. You can filter materials by how many nodes are in the material tree so you can set the minimum number of nodes for the material, otherwise it won't be selected. For the node group option, you can choose between cycles or EV. And if the file already exists, you can choose at the bottom to skip, override or create new by choosing one of these options. There is also an option labeled maximum time per file, which corresponds to how much time the add-on is gonna keep loading assets before shutting down the process because sometimes big files may take a lot of time to load. The option is in seconds and it is 800 seconds by default. Hitting OK will import all the selected assets of the asset browser. Also, to import from directory, click the Create Assets from the directory button and this will allow you to import all the assets from all the blend files in the directory. All the filters we have seen in the last part are here and you can select which assets you want to import and click Create Assets from the directory. This is extremely useful as it can parse through hundreds of blend files and this way you can save yourself time trying to import all those assets one by one. Furthermore, creating custom materials is a really powerful feature as it allows you to import all the set of materials from a texture directory in just a couple of clicks. For example, if you have multiple texture directories with multiple textures in each one, the animal can import each one and set them up with the true assets Uber material automatically. And the great thing is, all the assets persist even after you close and open Blender, so the assets are always present in the asset browser. To adjust the Uber materials and to see all the controls available, you can do so from the Material Properties panel or the Shader Editor. Another option is creating custom worlds. This one allows you to import a complete directory of HDRIs to keep a catalog of environments with custom materials and a lot of controls over the exposure, UV compensation, horizon color, and so much more. To import multiple HDRIs, click Create Worlds, point to the HDRI directory, preferably EXR files, and hit Create Worlds. Last but not least, there is the catalog feature, which allows you to categorize your assets in the True Assets Asset Browser section. You can do this by selecting the assets you want to group together and click True Assets at the top and choose Move to Catalog, give your category a name and hit OK. A new category should appear on the left. Now you should see the newly created category with all the assets inside. If you want to move assets to an already created category, just choose the same option, but in this case, instead of selecting new for the catalog field, choose one of the categories in the list. And to create another folder inside an already existing category, add a forward slash and the name of the subfolder you want to create. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary link in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. 
Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.